Hi guys, I'm Aurina Agathe Fula. I'm a healer, I'm a psychic, I'm a multidimensional being. And I know people out there are crazy and in love with tarot cards. Um, but I was always wondering why do you follow so many tarot card readers? If you can, because I know most of the people having their own angel cards, tarot cards, mermaid cards, um, uh, yeah, Lenormand cards, whatever's out there. And there's some amazing, beautiful cards, starseed cards, Lemurian cards, Atlantis cards. But today I want to show you how I use them. I use them for healing. I don't uh, use them for uh, predicting the future or anything because I believe if I go to a tarot card reader, that person will tell me what they see in my auric field, which can change any time or any moment I change my consciousness and I change my pers uh, how do I say? perception of life and the moment I heal, that's how I use the cards. I use the cards as guidance. And I was just thinking I could show you that how I do it. So first of all, I take the cards, right? And there's a saying, there's, if you have cards, please just you use it. Don't let anyone else use it because it's your energy, your vibration. But um, when you are sharing it with someone else, you can use um, Santo Paulo wood, you can use smudging, or you just take the cards and you tap it three times or five times or seven times, always uneven, and you just <laughs> shake out the energy of the other person. And then you can just mix it and you can think of something Either if the card falls out, like now see, you saw, this came out and it's like the mirror. Know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. So you can look in the mirror and you can see yourself or you can look in the mirror and see your soul, who you truly are, right? Like most of the people, they look in the mirror and they say, oh, I'm so ugly. But if you look really deep in the mirror, you, could, you would be amazed and surprised how wonderful your soul is. And, okay, so you saw this card came out, so I want to use this, but I also want to show you a different way. So you can, again, tap it and think of something. Let's say you're um, in a relationship with someone or you have an issue with the family, there's an issue, and then you say, okay, please, uh, dear angels or universe with the highest love, unconditional love and light, please help me protect this reading and this healing for myself. I'm ready to receive healing. And then you spread the cards and you take, um, people say you should take your left hand, but I, you can do it with the right hand or the re left. The left one is receiving and the right hand is giving. So you can use your left hand because it's connected and close to the heart. And wherever you feel drawn to, like some people feel a tickling sensation, some people feel a pull, some people feel a, a heat, you just pull out the card. And here it says fertility, potential, powerful, creative energy, initiation energy. Um, so you can also take the book, read in it, it will say like fertility. It's number eight. And when you look at the numbers, you can even Google number eight. Number eight is infinity. Number eight is the number of twin flames. Number eight is the number of abundance. So it all has a meaning. You can look at the picture and you can look at the colors. Which color does it have? It's connected to the water. It's all blue. Then fertility. You can read, okay, what, what does it mean? And then you just read it. I'm not going to do that right now. But how do I use it? For example, I put my name on a piece of paper and I keep it next to the card and I light a candle. So I would get, take those two cards. I would write my name. You can even write the name of your partner or the family members you're having issues with. Keep it on the card, put a candle and let the universe do its magic. But what you can what else you can do is you take those cards, keep it onto your heart and you say, 
everything which is connected to heal the situation, please integrate it now. And then you breathe it in. Everything which is blocking the situation, please release it and transform it now in all times, dimensions and space, galaxies, past life, this life, future lives. And then you breathe in and breathe out. And you will see there is a transformation. You will see there is a, a shift in the energy. So this is how you can use the cards. I just wanted to demonstrate it to you. It's just, I mean, here's one card. You can even use the pendulum. One second, I'll show you the pendulum. So, and when you have a pendulum, it can be one with a crystal. It can be one made of metal. It doesn't matter. It's whatever you like. Then, of course, you have a yes and then you have a no. People who work with the pendulum and then you can just see which card is, is um, working with the pendulum. But you can also take the card and say, okay, please clear all the issues which is connected to this blockage with the family member or my partner. And then you will see, okay, please clear and it will stop when it's done. And if there's nothing to clear, there will be no, if there's no blockage, the pendulum will not move. And you can also say, please integrate and cleanse everything, my chakras, my meridians, my cells, which is connected to this blockage. And then you integrate and you wait how the pendulum works. I mean, for the people who use the pendulum, they will know. So you can use the pendulum for answers, but you can also use it for clearing. Okay, so I really hope it did help you. And it was interesting for you. Please like, share the videos because it might help so many other people. Um, it's always good to help yourself with healing. And of course, if it's a bigger issue and a bigger blockage, please go and reach out for help. I do the same. We are human people and or we are humans and we always need help and we should help each other and reach out to others who are good. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you liked it. Bye.